Good morning, viewers. You are welcome to your favorite sports show, Sport Hour. Reaching you from the Advent Cable Network Nigeria, ECNN TV, Abuja. I am Olishala Lujide. I am Olawale Ayeni, and it's great to have you join us here today. I will be starting today's show with a plan by the Sports Ministry to honor 60 sport icons ahead of the Independence Day a celebration. But for now, we'll go on a short break, and when we come back, we'll start the show in earnest. Welcome back. If you are just joining us, this is Sport Hour Show, reaching you from the Advanced Cable Network Nigeria Television. So, we'll begin our story, our show today with the Ministry of Youth and Sport Development. The Minister of Youth and Sport Development, Sonny Dari, has uh, stated that 60 Nigerian sport icons will be celebrated for 60 days as part of the country's 60th independence celebration. He stated this at a media party for the National Principals Cup in Lagos on Monday. And I quote him, this country has enjoyed sporting glory in 60 years. We won gold medals at the Atlanta Olympics, and we have seen so many of our sportsmen and women represent this country and also have become global stars. The ministry, in partnership with a couple of TV stations, will start selection of, sport, of 60 sport icons. People will submit and we will pick 60 of them. We are going to have a roll up banner top, top to bottom at the velodrome in Abuja. Of all the selected 60 sports icons who made this country proud, some dead, some still alive. We are also going to have all the running commentaries that we talk on their exploits, and this will run for 60 days. We hope to have some of these icons uh, present at the Velodrome so that we, we can speak to the public. And uh, it's, a good, it's, a, it's a good idea that the ministry, the federal government through the yeah. ministry, is trying to honor the uh, living. And the dead. Dead. No doubt about it, uh, 60 years of our uh, independence is a good and, year. And, we have and done sports so years have achieved a lot in the space of uh, that 60, 60 years. Uh, we yes. have won the Nations Cup, we have won the Olympics, we have won different uh, tie two, talking about cut across athletics, uh, weightlifting, boxing. football, basketball, boxing, and all that. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a welcome development uh, from uh, the sports ministry to honor those uh, 60 icons. Those, we know some of them are, are dead right about now. Of some course. of them are in their life so we need to at least honor them for their great job uh, they have done for the country you know for giving all their best and this also we encourage um people who are actually growing up to see if they can able to do well for the country and uh, the country is on the right track uh, to actually uh, honor them and they will, they will be seen like a hall of fame yes for for these guys for these men and women who have done just proud yeah. and uh, we don't know who they are yet. Yes, Since they said the minister has said people should send in the names. Yeah, of but of course, we have we, we have, have some a few ideas yes, of, of those, those who, who should make. We At least people like, like Stephen Keshi, Gigi Okocha, Gigi Okocha Kanu, also Mary Oyale, uh, uh, some of some of those guys. Shaibu Amodu also I mean, should yes. be should be there. So some of those great guys who have done uh, the country proud in their various uh, sporting. Uh, career. So we'll go to the next story where well, the Ministry of Youth and Sport Development uh, has expanded the National Principal Cup from its football mandate to accommodate athletics, table tennis, boxing and badminton. Uh, according to the Sports Minister, Sunday Diary during the unveiling of the logo and the brand ambassador in Lagos said it is part of the ministry effort to revamp the tournament and it's fundamental to the Sports Ministry. The mandate of expanding the catchment areas of grassroots development efforts in uh, the country. It will be recorded that the Principal Cup was traditionally a football tournament for secondary school where state uh, champions compete uh, for the national title and who went to make up names. Names like uh, Stephen Keshi, Daniel Mokachi, Harry Wonsu, Sunday Ulisse, Joseph Dawson, and Jonathan Akpobure are some of uh, the notable names who have come through the competition. What do you make of it? Uh, the sports ministry trying to bring uh, in athletics, table tennis, boxing, 
and back meeting to the principal school. Like we said earlier, it's a good, it's a, it's a lofty and a good idea because we all know principal's cup in those days, basically for football. Yeah. That's why we, have, we saw the names of uh, Steve Keshi, who made his name, yeah. Alan Kachi, you know, Henry Wosu, so they say they all came from through this uh, principal's, principal's cup. Yeah. And uh, the idea of not just focusing on football and expand it to other sports, oh. It's also is is very fantastic yeah. because we will surely get stars. Those who are not good, of course, not everybody can play football. Yeah. So we have those who are good in table tennis to yes. come out. Those, those who are good in athletics, athletics, we have them to come out. So this principal cup is a shield for mm -hmm. all. Uh, yes, a shield for all these sports to come together and we will not get individual talents. Yeah. Of recent, of recent, I saw a, I saw a video of a young, I think about a sixteen year, no, not of sixteen year old boxer. Mm -hmm. This guy is punching yes. heavily. Yes. I'm sure if the guy punches you, <laughs> my, 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 my probably faint. Of course. And the, yes. the guy's movement is superb. Mm. But my only issue with that kind of that kind of boy is that after training, what food does he eat? Yeah, well, How does he keep himself training. in shape? Because now you, know, you, have, you have expanded your energy in this yes, training. Of course. You're not go back and start drinking Gary, mm. which not help you. But that aside, this principal cup will help us get more talent. And I also think it will be the solid foundation for our grassroots sport generally. Yes. Uh, because as it is now, we know athletics, table tennis, boxing, and badminton are one of those areas that uh, we have our strength. So we bring in uh, those uh, sports uh, to uh, the principal cup. I feel, and I think it will uh, going to build our grassroots sport and all that. But if they can able to, you know, uh, put out also other sports, talking about swimming, uh, think maybe basketball, maybe as time goes on, that. just as the ministry said, the minister oh. said that uh, it praise is sustainable. Even yeah. after he leaves office, after he leaves office, yeah. that anybody that comes after him should also be able to think of okay, we yeah. have this sport. Let's include cricket. Of course, let's include uh, include other sports to make it a global. The, it's not thought to be like uh, it's all. It'd be like it to be with yeah. national youth, youth games. games. National youth games is for all states. That was like that is the youth yeah. Olympic games yes, for, for Nigeria. Yes, and it's all, so. It, this will be. It will give us more talent. At least when more you when when, when they play levels. the principal cup, they will have some couple of players that will actually represent the states at the, the national at youth. The youth, 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 youth so it's, it's a it's a good it's, a, it's good that the ministry is reviving this national, uh, principal cup, not only reviving it, expanding it to accommodate all other sports. It, it, meet, it will bring more investments, of course. more uh, sp uh, sponsorship, mm. uh, more discovery of talent. Yes. You know, it's just it, that a whole lot, lot of things. Yes, it's just like, like the corporate bodies, individual are killing to it, get yes. to sponsor uh, some of the activities so that at least uh, it will come out uh, you know, in, uh, very, in, in, very in well. In the past, all our stars that were in Super Eagles yes. came from Discovery because they discovered uh, this uh, principal cup. cup yes. So why can't it, so if, if this is a work in the past for us, mm. why can't you just use this uh, that's in template, improve on it, yes. and get more, more people? Yes. So it's, uh, I, I, we appreciate the ministry for this kind of uh, uh, for, uh, for reviving yes. this uh, 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 principal, principal cup. cup. Of course. Now we are still on the, on the local scene. Nigeria professional football league side talking about the social stars of our career on Tuesday unveiled Benga Ogumbote as their new manager. It is Benga's second spell at the club, having managed the club, the Akure based club, in 2012 and equipped them to reach the semi finals of the CAF Confucius Cup. The Ondo State Football Agency, which oversees their first of sunshine, announced Ogumpote's appointment at the Ondo State Games Village in Akure, the state's capital. Speaking at the event, the chairman, talking about uh, Ms. Alaji Tajudin Akemi, said the choice of Ogumpote was due to his vast experience in managing the top clubs in the country. I came out that the main assignment for the coach was to return the team to the continent. No doubt about it. Ogubote has he has gone around, he the, has gone around, around the, the MPFL club, <laughs> clubs that we have in, in, in Nigeria, Lobby stars, stars, and all that. Yeah, Sunshine is a familiar ground. He knows what it takes, you know, to actually build a solid teams in the shun, in the Sunshine uh, team because we know Sunshine uh, is, is a very good team. Yeah, the narrow escape. The narrow escape, escape the relegation, relegation last thanks season. To, thanks to COVID nineteen. Thanks to COVID nineteen. <laughs> so at, at this point in time, I just feel Sunshine. Star Will uh, sunshine uh, will give him uh, the needed working environment so that he can actually, you know, uh, bring uh, the players up, nurture them, see how they can able to build on their on their on their performance last season, and see if they're able to, you know, uh, to qualify for uh, the CAF uh, Confederation Cup, Cup, if not uh, the Champions League, because we know uh, Ogumbote, no doubt about it, is yeah, a good, play, is a good, uh, is a good in, coach in, both in the NPFL. Both as uh, with a CAF. Uh, 
calf Champions League yes, and a yeah, calf, calf competition. So you know what it takes uh, to My actually... My issue right now is, yeah, is that Sunshine Stars have lost some key players, players of course, that, to that, rival that. clubs during this uh, movement. Oh. Now, he has a lot of work to do now to bring him back better legs. Now, where is he going to get those better legs from? When clubs like Rivers United have Ab pouched... Abia Warriors. Uh, Abia Warriors get to sign players uh, on a daily basis. No. Yesterday, they actually signed about two players. Today, no. again, you expect them, you know, uh, getting to sign another Rivers, player. Rivers United has signed up players and is giving them good money. More, more, more incentive. Yes. yes. Such as stars, during the, during the last season, mm. they, were, they were not paying their players as regularly. Yeah, yes. Will any player want to go to such club where they are having issues with their finances? Now, although state now that you know, when I spoke with the chairman, that said, Mr. Tajudin, okay. he said they could not pay their salary because of the elections. Means that, which means that the, the state government were focusing their resources on, the election. on elections. And the election is just about uh, uh, two, October two, three 10. Weeks, yes. October 10. Now, when elections com uh, comes down, whoever wins now, we don't know. Will the person now go back and, uh, if let's say for example PDP wins now, will the PDP guy go on uh, and uh, okay, disband uh, the team and all bring um, you know, and set up another another technical crew again well, of the that, club? That's number one. Number two, will you ask them to go through the records and see okay, this person do not pay their salaries, let's pay them the salary. So is it is a whole is a very tricky issue right now for on those states and the uh, sunshine football club as a whole. At this point in time, I feel all our club structure should go beyond who is on the seat of power. If this person does not like uh, the pre the present or, board, or, the, or, or the sport commissioner, the sports commissioner, we should have to get a there. solid structure. Uh, structure that we know envisage in the next two years, in the next five years, what do we want, uh, where do we want our team to actually get to. So by that time, they have like a, like a roadmap. Mm -hmm. They should actually ensure that they follow that roadmap. That's Not why that that's every why we keep form, saying that we need to government sport. to take off their hands off sports. From, yes, of course. Because now, if the state governor decides not to sign on the paper, that is that okay, pay this salary. Mm. These people don't pay their salaries. Yes. And it's That's not supposed to be like that. He's supposed to have a structure that will be running on his own, in his own entity, so that all these uh, problems of not paying our uh, club uh, Just mind, because, uh, because the, the present be governor there. is vying for elections, he's on the campaign trains, he does not have time to look at anything that has to do with sport, you know, anything that, that, has, that has nothing to do with, uh, with uh, politics. Politics. He will not sign because yeah. he will not have time for such. Of course, we which means know. that he's killing the livelihood of so many of so many people of elections. So it's so good party has a lot to do to, to be able to get to get the right players yeah. that will fill the shoes of those players. I think yeah, they, lost, yeah. they lost about six or seven players during the season yeah. that will fill in the shoes. If not better players that will fill in the shoes, yeah. and they begin to pick up. Yes. Of course, they can't play in, in calf. Uh, copy, this is have it. Solid until ne until, yeah, ne until, until next season. season, and you can't even qualify if you don't have solid players yes. in your team to play. So we just hope that uh, Ogubote all the best in short sign and hope that he gets a uh, lot to qualify his team uh, to the CAF Cultivation uh, Cup of Tournament. So we'll go to the next story, Red Ultimate Fight, uh, cha Fighting Championship. They are talking about boxing now. Uh, the forthcoming Ultimate Fight Championship middleweight title fight between Nigeria, New Zealand, Israel, Adesoya, and also Brazil knockout specialist, uh, that is Paulo Acosta. Uh, is splitting the MMA fans. Uh, the fight is billed for Sunday at the first uh, forum of the Yans uh, Iceland uh, that is talking about Abu Dhabi. Both fighters are undefeated in a professional fight uh, with Adesoya winning a uh, 19th fight with 14 knockouts and also Costa won 13 fights with 11 knockouts since making his MMA career in 2012. Now, this uh, is a battle, battle of the of the knockout specialists of, of the un undefeated. Both of them are undefeated and all that. So it's, it's going to be uh, difficult. The fight uh, will be coming up this Sunday. At least I, I watched a little fight, a little uh, previous fight of a Paulo 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 Costa. Costa. They get aggressive. It's like he's always angry. So this morning, funny enough, I, I, I watched uh, Israel this morning speaking on TV. He said he likes the fact that he gets aggressive. That is that's a strong point. But he said that would be his weak point. That that's what he, yeah, he raises course. aggressiveness. Because when he's aggressive, he loses focus. Yes, he loses, he loses focus. focus. You don't get to calculate. He calculates. 
and see that's what you use to get him down. You know, so both of them they'll be given the, of course, normal in, in the normal boxing level, they'll be attacking themselves with words, you know, what of words. I know Adesha is that. more experienced than Costa. Looking at the fights, he has mm -hmm, he mm -hmm. has nineteen fights where Acosta has thirteen. He has fourteen knockouts. I'm talking about uh, Adesoya and the other guy has uh, eleven, 11 knockouts. So you see, experience will actually you know work in the favor of Adesoya. We just hope that uh, he gets his feet right and hopefully he can even. No, this kind of fight I like it because Sunday. it's brutal. Yes. It's brutal. It's brutal. You can come from anywhere. anywhere. Use your leg, use your elbow, use anything. Even when your opponent is done, you keep on uh, punching the person till the referee says, it's is enough. Yeah, and, is and, enough. And, and I, I tell you, this quality of fight will actually you know, divide the fans because the fans will not really know who to, uh, go, who for. to go for and all that. So who are you going for? Uh, of course, I'm <laughs> and, going and for own Nigeria. This way. And he, again, he I, should I, actually win that particular one. And you know, we listened to him. He said, he said his roots from Lagos, being mm. a Yoruba person. That he, he has that ability to, he, you know, he has experienced a little. Not that he, he really suffered in mm -hmm. Lagos, but he had, he has experienced that kind of a little bit of uh, toughness, yeah. and he, he feels that he needs that kind of mentality to go into his fight mm -hmm. and has helped him. Why do Nigerian boxers always feel that the the hardship in Nigeria prepares them, mm -hmm. like like if a Jagba? Uh, yes, he said the same thing. <laughs> that the anger, the anger of of, 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 of the Nigerian government. It's not, easy, it's not easy uh, we that even in Nigeria. You know it's not easy because uh, the hustling and buzzing and all that. It will actually you know make you to you know train hard, make you to want to you know be successful yes. in anything you do. So I think that is what is actually you know uh, preparing him to, for him to you know uh, go into working very very hard for him to you know get to win this fight. So I just wish him all the best. Okay, so we wish uh, our Nigerian. Adi Soya, all the best against uh, Polo Costa on Sunday, and uh, he, he will win. He have his twentieth fight with mm. probably his fifteenth knockout. Knockout. So yeah. we'll go on a short break, and when we return, our show continues. Okay, thank you for joining us. And today uh, we have uh, a special guest in our midst. Uh, he is uh, the Nigerian Super Eagles team coordinator, also the Bauchi FA uh, chairman, and also he is an ex international who won the Olympic uh, gold medal uh, in 1996 uh, USA. And so we have uh, Pastor Pasca, MON. Thank you uh, for joining us today. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, so. Uh, we go to our next story where the international friendly uh, between uh, the Nigerian Super Eagles and also uh, Tunisia and the Ivory Coast. Uh, Coach Genetro has, has already released uh, his list uh, of players he has invited uh, for that uh, particular one. He has also injected uh, new blood, talking about seven or cap uh, yep, players yes, that, yes. that he has invited in that particular. So what do you make up uh, the, that in that particular team? Well, the most important thing is first as in the 40 uh, friendly match uh, to be played and then secondly, you know, you give room even for other players, you know, the coach want to see them uh, so that, they, you know, you can just see like players in competition. So friendly match is an opportunity for the players, you know, to come and showcase themselves and show Nigerians that yes, they are ready. And one good thing is that then you see most of these players, we, uh, we are watching them week in, week out. You know they are doing well in their team so uh, giving them that opportunity is for them you know to come and show the coach that yes they are ready you know for the challenge that is ahead of them so it's very good one for me for him to call uh, uh, young ones you know to inject them into the team you know we have advantage now we have uh, advantage of uh, you know the other ones are going and other ones are coming in so uh, it's a very good thing Okay, now still talking about the friendly match to be taking place in uh, Austria. Yeah. Now there are reports now that the, uh, the coronavirus cases in uh, Austria is increasing by the day. Wouldn't that be a major concern to the NFF as well? 
to carry their players to Austria where there have been an increase in uh, uh, coronavirus? Well, the, you know, the issue of corona is the issue of uh, government of the country. Mm -hmm. Even here in Nigeria, you know, we don't have anything to do without the government. The government are the ones to decide, mm -hmm. you know, if uh, you are allowed to go uh, into the country. So I think uh, we went for visa application, I think, the uh, day before yesterday. And then we are waiting for the, the visa to come out and then the next line of action. And then uh, for me, we are we are waiting if uh, definitely if uh, the uh, corona is going high in that country you know maybe uh, the country there they will uh, give a message you know uh, to the federation here that maybe they call it off you know uh, they are, uh, uh, to have a good health is better than to go and have uh, of course, something of that course. you know is not good so we are waiting to hear from the uh, from them there you know i think the nff here now they don't have anything to say like kind of yes or no mm. because of the friendly match has been arranged and everything you know the agent there has done everything but the country to the, uh, they have right you know to say that no, no not this time around okay. because of the thing is going uh, somehow so many Nigerians, as you know are questioned uh, the list of uh, coach Kenetro, talking about that he has not included uh, any home base uh, player in that particular a team that will be playing to Nation or Ivory Coast. What do you actually make of that? Well, it's very simple. Because even, uh, even we that we are here in the studio, if they give us opportunity of like to bring names of players that they are going to play, will you call a name of players that are, are in Nigeria almost six months without doing anything? Mm -hmm. You know, that one, you know, is, uh, is kind of... Uh, we, don't, we don't even have to go there because of uh that corona has hit us here and then uh, some of the teams even they did not even resume training so w where can you see there we are w they, they are not doing anything and you know the mentality of even our players here back home mm. you know the discipline is not on that hundred percent so uh, you you cannot even i i know god general will not even go there because of uh, even the time that the league is kind of uh, having break, he's complaining. So now is a situation that uh, the players are not training. And then the ones that he called in Europe, some of them, they finished their season. And they went over even for pre-season training. So they are okay for, uh, for the match. But anybody that is home here, even thinking of him to be in that list, I don't know how, how he will jump and enter that list. Now, talking about the fact that uh, the coach has refused, you know, did not call up players, home base play, uh, players. Yeah. Now, what can you make of this situation? But by up to now, our league has not started. Now, I'm speaking with you as the Bauchi State uh, FA chairman, our league has not resumed. And if you look at other European nations, major leagues, Spain, Italy, Germany, they've, yeah. all, re they've all resumed their league without fans. And now, coming back to Nigeria, now where we have, we, we see barriers, ceremonies taking place large crowds we see political rallies taking place large a large crowd but the PTF have said no we cannot resume league because of coronavirus cases and yet we have polit we have uh, political rallies we have various ceremonies why can't our league start without fans well it's worrisome but uh, you know in case of uh, the league to start I think uh, is the federal government you know, the NFF are there, and I tell you that anything about the corona, COVID-19, uh, is the federal government. That they will give you the go-ahead, you know, to do whatever uh, it may happen in terms of maybe sports, you know, that we want to see. Mm. And then we, we, uh, we want to see our people, you know, come back to watch, uh, you know, what uh, they love to, to, to see. But I, uh, for now, uh, I don't think anybody is going to convince, you understand, the federal government because of uh, they, are, they, are, they have been delaying since and we have seen many events, you know, burial ceremony to uh, people crowd, you know, mm -hmm. too much crowd there and other things, even campaign going on, in Edo, you know, in Edo, on you do. know, on Do now, Anamba, you know, so we are pleading, you understand, to, to, to the federal government that they should look into, uh, you know, sports sector. 
whereby most of our youth uh you know they love that sport and then you know keeping them you know without without coming together and then enjoy what they love you understand is not good so i think um uh we are pleading you understand even the uh, the minister of sport should try his uh, his best and then uh, push it to the federal government so that uh, the federal government will see reason you know if maybe at the burial ceremony of uh the emir of okay, Sazao, okay. you know, uh, you know, some uh, no corona uh, person there, you uh, like maybe uh, someone caught with corona there. I don't think that maybe we will get corona in Nigeria anymore because of <laughs> you see the crowd there. You understand? Can, it's massive. Can, can feel, it's massive. Can feel a, sta a stadium. You know, yeah. you know, national stadium here. You know, it will not even contain the people. But the only thing is, I think you know, um, these sports and then is something that if if the federal government allowed you know we can even play it, you know without uh, maybe fans and uh, supporters okay. so uh, you know it's just a di you know it's just for the fa you know within nigeria to just uh, make sure that there is enough security and display in the stadium okay let me okay so it's because oh. talking about the fa the, you are part of the the body of uh, fa chairman yeah. what has that body done Concrete step taken by the everybody to uh, to make sure that this league, you know, a bit like A to the LMC and uh, the federal government to ensure that this league starts. What has the body done actually to ensure that our league starts? Now, because these players are rotting away out, too. they're not being paid, they're not we're training uh, as a group, they're losing their forms, and yet we still want to go to CAF Champions League. We still want to go to CAF Confessions Cup. How will our teams perform when these players are not playing? Look at South Africa, they decided the league. Some other, other nations who, 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 who say coronavirus cases are even higher than Nigeria's cases have started the league without fans. Why? What, are the, what, are the, what step has the FA chairman body taken? Well, for us, you understand, we are trying to do our best. But you see, when you come to issue of COVID-19, I tell you, it's not something that uh, you can even talk much about it. Because of one is as in everywhere, you know, it's the federal government that gave you understand the politician go ahead and do the your campaign and other things. So if the federal government said no, definitely is no. NFF cannot do anything. No mm -hmm. talk of even we the FA we mm -hmm. cannot do anything. And now uh, uh, talking about you uh, even the players, you understand that they are not uh, the training. Uh, in baby training and they are not paying them like me in my state when the salary of the civil servant is you know is on and they had their alert the same thing the players you know the governor is paying them even with that uh, without even training without even playing because of they have contract and the contract is there so some of the state i don't know but my state you know uh, my governor is doing very well governor mohammed balakaura is doing very well paying the players you know, without any complaint. And we don't have any complaint from, from them. But the only thing that is disturbing is as in, we want to see the league, you know, come, yeah, you know, to come back. And then without, you know, the league coming back, definitely it will even affect like the structure of the, the national team. Mm -hmm. Even like from under 17. Now, I had even our GSD secretary, Dr. Mohamed Sunusi, talking yesterday that they are trying to see what they can do. So, you know, it's an issue that is disturbing everybody. It's not like intentional issue. So, hey, it's worrisome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me take you back uh, to uh, the match, a uh, friendly match that we're playing against uh, Tunisia and Ivory Coast. Do you see any of this country a threat to the Super Eagles and also with a couple of the new players you know, coming into the team, who is your standard player in that team? And mm -hmm. do you feel this particular team, uh, this particular new set of guys can, uh, can stage uh, an upset to the present guys who are there in, in the national team? No, the most important thing, you know, when we talk about the friendly match now in the world and Africa, let me tell you something. We are the ones now that the other countries are looking out to. It was, it was how it. am I going to mark Chukwes? And how am I going to manage, you know, like Osime, Samuel, Talu, you know, great players, young players that are playing in the team. But I tell you, for, for us now, you know, the team is kind of 
it has bled mm -hmm. is unlike before. So uh, there is nothing like kind of you you are afraid of this country. We play Brazil, we play Poland, we play some uh, big uh, friendly matches that our players they uh, they did very well. And then most of even the their matches in their clubs is the same. Most of the same players that they mm -hmm. are meeting. So mm -hmm. I don't think you know. The mindset of the players is going on maybe, oh no, we are afraid of Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire, you know, is before. The, you yeah, know, all those, all those uh, history, yeah. you know, is before. Because of, check the they check the performance of Cote d'Ivoire in AFCON, the last AFCON. Where are they? And then the Tunisia, they are doing very well. You know, the ranking of football is as in if you did very well, win your matches, you know, you've been there and you scored that point. Even if it is like two to one year, you are not, you are not doing well. Then the point will keep you there. Yeah. But to see what we we played against uh, Tunisia. Now we are the ones that uh, beat Tunisia in the third place. So will now we be afraid of Tunisia or Tunisia be, be afraid, afraid of, of us? So uh, that one is uh, is not something that even we should look uh, into. And then the other one about uh, the players. You see, when they call players for national team, it's not like kind of the coach is going to start with like five of them. No, definitely no. The coach I know gradually, maybe he will see them in training, the position that maybe he want to like kind of uh, make the person there to wake up. You know, he will just put somebody to see the performance of that person. So you can... Uh, it may surprise you that maybe when we go for the friendly match, uh, maybe he's going to use maybe three players or four players. Maybe you can use all. You know, nobody can predict. But it's very difficult for a coach that has his own team, you understand, for how many years he's working with them, and then change the team with five players. I know General will not do that. Who is your standard player? Who is that player that you want to see? No, Cyril is there. Cyril is there. Tijani is there. Even you know the the goalkeeper. You know we are. There. You know even the department of the goalkeeping is something that uh, everybody want to see. Yes, Not yes. Even me. Mm -hmm. Even you in the studio. Yeah. Studio, you want to see that. Yes. Who is the next? You know. Ayama. Who is the next? Peter Rufai. Peter Rufai. Uh, Ayama, you know that is you will man that post. So and then how many of them? that they call and then the uh, alarm pursue now let me tell you something people did not see him even for the senior national team yes yes yeah, so people want to see his performance is that alarm pursue that we mm, for the, yeah. you, under 23 you know, under 20 under, under 17, 17, 17 yes you know is he the one or he has changed so you know everybody want to see this kind of players and they, everybody is eager but it's too friendly match it's okay the coach will see them and then for the other competition ahead, I know he will know who to call again. Being the uh, Super Eagles team coordinator, you know, you are, you are very close to all these players. Yeah. And uh, Osime is the biggest name right now in the Super Eagles, even in the African football, being the most expensive player in Africa, in African football. Now, he has moved to Napoli, where in his, his first two matches in the friendly, he's called Patrick still goes to two games, though his, his official game he did not score a goal, but then he impressed massively. Now, what how do you see Osimen? What's your, what's your view about his career? How he has progressed from uh, from a boy in Lagos who struggled his way through, went to you know he failed at at some point, he picked himself up, and now he has gone to let's say almost to the top of his career. What, what, what can you say about his? Uh, is a career projection as a, as a footballer. Well, you see, Osime has a good record because Osime starts from under 17, 17 to 20, 20 to 23, and 23 to Super Eagles. He's one of the players that follow that channel. So for me, the performance of, uh, of Osime is not something that uh, someone can be doubtful about because of uh, he has been there. You know, the time that uh, Igalo is playing, you know, Egalo has that experience. Osime is sitting on the bench and then watching, mm -hmm. uh, you know, studying. And then no matter the minute that they gave him, you understand, to play, he usually try his best. And then you see, every time in football, let me tell you something, number nine, you check most of this country, you don't usually get like three number nine 
at yes. once. Yes. <laughs> no. Uh, if you check the uh, the time of Rashidi Akini, he's the only number nine. You know, said that we have, you know, you know, Rashidi Akini. Yeah. Uh, we play, yeah. you know, but the senior, the senior us, you know, a uh, little bit. But now, when we came, you know, even for the last half on, uh, Eminike. Yes. You see, is number nine, and then later Igalo took over, is number nine, and now you know it's time for Osime. Because of, you know when your time reach, you will see everything. Even if you did mistake, you understand it, the thing will just blend and go. You know, you it's just your time, and then uh, Osime now in Nigeria, you understand everybody want to see him yes. play, and then not because of uh, is he going to play well now? Oh no, because Osime has proved himself. If you even if you could remember. Uh, the Olympic qualifier of the under 23. Osime is the one that saved even Bambi them, now. you know, mm -hmm. against mm -hmm. Libya. Yeah, 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 against yeah. Libya. Yes. So, you see, he's someone that has that record. You know, he has been doing well, he has been scoring goals. The only thing we pray for him is as a let him be fit and then no injuries. Then no injury. Okay, mm -hmm. since you're a grassroots man, let me just take you back uh, to grassroots uh, development. How well do you think we can actually develop grassroots football in the country. Uh, taking Bauchi as a case study, you are the chairman of the Bauchi FA, what have you been doing you know, to develop uh, the game at the grassroots? Well, it's very simple. You know, grassroots is the beginning of everything in football. It's like now you have a uh, uh, play group and then nursery, you know, you start something from there. And then after primary school and then secondary school, university. So without grassroots, let me tell you something, you can never get what you want right. Because of that grassroots is the place that you nurse those players and give them the basic knowledge about the football. So how they will control the passes, you know, the con setting of cons. Because of when they call them for national team, the coach has no time to teach you what to do there because of the time limit. Even like now when we are talking about no time to call players. So which coach will you give him? like in less than one month to start teaching you how to control ball before then they will sack him before he start all those ones they will say that this coach is not serious yeah. so grassroots is very important is key you understand in football even if you check fifa calf you know nff you know they are trying their best to make sure that they don't leave that gap you know, between uh, the grassroots and then the other ones that they have learned everything about football. So I've been doing a lot on that 13 competition, trying to keep the boys uh, busy, you know. Just during this corona, we need to slow the, uh, everything down because of not to, uh, to bring them together. So on that 15, to, we are trying. So grassroots is all about on that 13 to on that, you know, 15. 17 already you have one year you know that you will sign a normal contract Contracts. so if you keep on that um, uh, uh, thing very well you don't have much gap i tell you even it help your football in the country like now okay look at chiguese chiguese played under 17 and then now how old is he he's in super Eagles. look at even osime how old is he a table you understand look at all those players because of you know they came in they came out from grassroots and then they go and then now we don't have even problem of like kind of uh, when you play you reduce your age more and then before you go to the senior national team you are yeah, around 40. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are around 40 you cannot do anything yeah, you will yeah, not yeah, run but now the age you understand that the players are going everybody oh. is seeing yeah. that yes these uh, these players are young. Look at Tijani. Mm. He played under seventeen. Mm. Now they call him for mm. national mm. team. It's very good one. Mm. Okay. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Mr. Pascal, for your time. But yeah, you still be with us till the end of the show because okay. we still have other stories to so which you which we also contribute. Uh, no problem. And uh, we were talking about uh, La Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo will be omitted from the nominations for the UEFA Men's Player of the Year Award for the first time in 10 years. Now, Mr. Pascal, what can you say about these two guys not being mentioned in the UEFA Men's Player of the Year for the first time in 10 years? We have uh, Kevin De Bruyne, we have uh, uh, Monenova and uh, Lewandowski, Lewandowski. Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. 
Yeah, for uh, you know, even check the players. <laughs> the only thing is, I think they just want uh, Messi and Ronaldo to just you know go and relax. But uh, uh, the Bruna have did very well. You Man know, City. Man City is just an injury-prone player, you know, off and on. But let me tell you something: history will always, you know, appreciate what Lionel Messi and Ronaldo yeah. did in football because of count a decade, you know, of, more than of a you know, more than a decade, about 11 years, 11 years, 11 years of football. Ball and then this football, let me tell you something. Today, you know, you play with the same people and then tomorrow, you know, you play with them and still you are doing well. You know, check out, uh, check out this place. Uh, now, um, uh, what happened to the, the person that won the, the, uh, the, what, yeah, look at Modric. Look, look, at Modric. Modric. look at what happened to him. Where is he now? It's Just it's <laughs> he, 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 but if you, you know, he can never come back and want that thing again. He has gone. So most of these players, look at the Bruno now. How old is he? Look at even the other goalkeeper. About how old is he? No so now, how many years will they, uh, you know, Dominate. do what Cristiano uh, Cristiano Ronaldo did, and then Lionel Messi? So my brother, they have tried, and we appreciate everything that they did. Okay, which 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 player do you think can actually fill up that uh, shoe that uh, Ronaldo and Messi uh, would be leaving? Because some players, have, some people have said uh, there is Neymar, there is Mbappe, uh, there is Hazard, there is, Hazard, there is uh, Cotillo of Barcelona. Who do you Alland. feel that Haaland has come in? Who do you feel that can actually, you know, uh, fill up of that? Normal, uh, normal two people. Mbappe, you know, the age, you know, he did very well. He won World Cup, you know, he has, uh, you know, good age that he can bridge the gap. But, you know, uh, and Neymar. But if you uh, watch their match, you know, in PSG, you will just wonder what is happening. Because of today, you just find out that uh, they are just out or, uh, you know, uh, just watching. And then tomorrow they are playing. Look at Lionel Messi and Ronaldo. In these years, even the injury is not coming, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. They are playing. And they are playing. And they are doing well. And then every time, they want to set a record on record. Mm -hmm. they, you break, know, they break they it, break it the, the and they set another one. They break it. But now, Neymar, that's so, you know, the kind of football that Neymar is playing, you know, you too, you cannot even say Neymar. Maybe too much money. <laughs> you know, maybe too much money. Uh, yeah, He's enjoying his money. Uh, that, that's, that's his time. Anyway. Yeah, that's his time. Okay, so let's go to the foreign scene where we have the wife of the late basketball legend, Kobe Bryant, Vanessa, uh, sued the Los Angeles uh, County Sheriff and his batmates claiming they caused her uh, severe emotional distress when deputies allegedly took personal cell phones photos of the bodies of her husband and her daughter, Gigi, at the scene of the helicopter uh, crash that took their lives early this year. Now, you have seen, this, you have seen some gory pictures of how uh, the, the helicopter crashed, mm. and uh, these are supposed to be personal pictures, not, as you can see on your screen mm. now, yeah, personal, the, personal, pictures. personal pictures which will cause emotional distress, seeing mm. how her husband and her daughter are dead and other, other people that are dead but, in the crash. But, but, but you can actually take it away but due to the fact that uh, Kobe Bright is a, is a popular person. You know, no he's matter a, how popular he is, sometimes you, the, the fact that it's a personal picture for the, for the, the family, family. For the family. Not for public. But, it but, is but, but he's already a, he was a public figure. Yes, but sometimes he you can still make your things private, yeah, but yeah. it is distressing, emotional distress for yeah. to be seen. Okay, yeah. my husband died inside this kind this of this kind of thing that happened, and you already seen yeah. it. You'll not be not happy. No, no, no doubt yeah. about it. No so, doubt about and it. The, uh, according to what the report I read was that the uh, man that released the picture was trying to post a girl, mm. and now released the pictures to the girl. To the girl, and then the girl went. No, and sure. Oh, sure. well, they can sue anybody, you know, because <laughs> of it's not uh, is this a personal subject? Yes, and then she has right. You know, for the family, and say that okay, the picture should go, mm -hmm. you know, viral anywhere. Not that popular yeah, band was, but, but uh, still but now she can say that uh, you know, seeing the picture of my husband, you know, without even my consent, okay. uh, he's not. He's uh, not and there are laws there that are very yeah. tight. Yeah. So no, definitely, yeah. they, no, definitely, you will see. Yeah. Yeah. She even 
she, she, well, she, when we are not saying that maybe she's after money. No, no not it's, it's, not the, it's not the money. No, no, it's, not the money. No, no. it's the fact that it's it's the, the thing is touching her because of any time she uh, sees that picture, of you course. know, she will remember. Then my, my, yeah. Apparently, nobody, we, we yeah. all suspected that the husband would have gotten yeah. burnt yes. in this. Yes. Yes. Of but we, never, but, but during his burial, his burial was yeah. private. We did not yeah. see the, you never see his casket. Yes, of course. That was the point. They wanted to make it as private as possible. Private, yes. So for the police officer to have released those, pictu those mm. pictures because he was trying to ask a girl out okay. in a bar, yeah. he was drunk. No problem. <laughs> yeah, after, after the beer clear, the other time <laughs> So let's just go uh, to the Carabao Cup. Uh, yesterday, uh, we know that uh, yesterday Chelsea won uh, their match. Uh, yesterday, Arsenal also they won uh, their match against uh, Leicester uh, City. Uh, yesterday, Arsenal won 2 0, while Chelsea won about uh, five uh, goals uh, yesterday. What do you make up Chelsea this season, Arsenal this season? Do you see them, you know, competing for the English Premiership? Well, you see, Chelsea is like just uh, weather. You know, it will rain now and then <laughs> another time you just see another different team. So, you, you know, you can't just red clubs, you, you know, by playing all these kind uh, mm -hmm. of competition. Mm -hmm. Where you will know uh, maybe teams are doing okay. Is the league that they are playing, mm -hmm. and then the other one is Champions League. Champions League, yes. Yes. So that's where you understand. You will see everybody. But now uh, Ateta, with the young lad, you understand, is doing well. But uh, I think you know they have um, a, a long way to go because of uh, very young players, promising players there, and they are doing well. Mm -hmm. But for me, for Chelsea, I know up to now they did not get their rhythm. They are just trying you know to 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 manage german to, german football yeah to just see but they are not they are they, it's not the chelsea that people are expecting to see but they have very young players mm. for the future so anything will happen when they gel together okay still talking about the english premiership this weekend uh, we're having arsenal play uh, liverpool on monday uh, we're having west Brom chelsea and others are future. What do you make of these uh, particular features in this? Well, uh, it's a very good one. Also, Man City will be playing Leicester. <laughs> yeah. Just for me to tell you, Tottenham also will be playing Newcastle. West Ham will be playing Wolves. Yeah, when you see, so uh, this this week uh, matches is going to be very difficult. Because, uh, you know, Leicester City, like said, you know, let me start with uh, the team that our person is there. Oh. You know, he's injured. Indeed, he, indeed yeah. he injured. And then he's he's if doubtful if for that match. Yeah, he's doubtful. And then if you watch even their, their uh, cup competition, they, they, will, they crash out. Oh. You know, that defense line, you know, is, is kind of, there is a lot of gap. And that's why they even push him, you know, to play central defense, which is not easy. And then Arsenal, is that uh, is something that now you know so we play Liverpool. everybody will be kind of want to see that match mm. because of one you know Ateta has won two trophies and then mm. some of them they did not believe you know they are seeing that maybe it's a flu mm. but i tell you what arsenal has is as in they have very young promising players that they can run 90 minutes and football is all about running you run and run that person down you understand and get resolved. Okay. The the the, the team coordinator says so. You, know, you have been in this game for years, so you know you know much about how how the game of football is played. But meanwhile, let's give you some of the transfer juice before we go off. Uh, Brazil left back Alex uh, tells wants to leave Porto for Manchester United. Manchester United they are always trying to buy players, but in the end they will never still buy the players. Then Liverpool as well too. They are trying to use their sort of money to bring in uh, Kali uh, Kula. Uh, Koulibaly to join the final for Napoli, despite uh, Man City Man and uh, PSG being interested in the player. Mm. Then PSG about to take Chelsea Germany defender Arturo Rudiger on a season-long loan. Mm. And then uh, we have also some interesting words like a uh, West Ham are ready to compete with Manchester United for Swansea City's Wales centre back Joe Rodon. Also looking at Atletico Madrid, also they are aiming to sign Arsenal Lucas uh, Torreira. Uh, why West Ham also ready to complete the Manchester United uh, move for, for uh, centre back to uh, Rudon? Uh, talking about also, do you think uh, uh, Arsenal want to let uh, Lucas Torreira go to uh, Atletico Madrid? You know, if you know that uh, they want to bring a certain Thomas Party uh, to the London team. That, that, that's that's a call for the directors to <laughs> <laughs> to make at that at that end there. 
And uh, we also see former Italy forward Francisco Totti is about to return to Roma, not as a player this time around I again, be, uh, but a as, a, as a sporting director. Yeah, sporting director, yeah. because he has all the experience having played in Roma. I think he played Roma all his life. Oh, yes. Roma, uh, Roma for life. He, is you know? the god yeah, of Roma. The god of Roma, and then uh, he's a legend. Yeah. Yes. And we have uh, Luis Suarez now, who has even left Barcelona and is going to join Atletico Madrid. That's, that, that's one sad news. You know, and he cried. He said he cried when at the twenty pitch. I just, I, I just felt he just that uh, the uh, the uh, ongoing uh, cold war in, in Barcelona uh, that is affecting the team. We know Messi was about to leave, uh, but uh -huh. at the end of the day, uh, everybody has has to come. You know, even the La Liga themselves has to intervene in that. And he, he, will he will still leave. Uh, he will still yeah, leave at the end. Of the yeah, no, of but uh, but you see, uh, if you check Messi, Messi want to like kind of uh, even respect you understand whatever yes. is going with him the club because of one that's where he 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 started his career and then he has achieved everything in football well, except world cup except world cup you know and then not only world why, cup why, why would, south america why, okay yeah, yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Copa, 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 why, why did he want to just leave you understand in like kind of bad mood mm -hmm. that's what he's trying you understand not to yeah. not to not to do but i tell you uh like uh, suarez that is leaving the team you know, I want to see, you know, Suarez when Diego uh, Simone and then Costa, you know, the kind of <laughs> partnership, <laughs> partnership <laughs> how, they will, how they will manage <laughs> themselves. Very, very because of, see, yes, both of them have the Diego same Costa way. is number nine. Yes. And Suarez is number nine. Definitely, they will not play together. So, definitely, uh, if uh, Suarez... Maybe four, 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 two. No, for oh, for two, it's, it's going, going to be difficult, that and that's what Manchester United are doing. That is not paying, okay. playing playing uh, uh, Marshall and uh, Rashford. Rashford. Rashford is, is two, top nine. He's top nine, and then you play with Marshall. You see Rashford. You know, instead, you, if he sees um, uh, Marshall is there, he will run to the other side. So it's not it's not paying. Well, my problem is why are Nigerian players why are they not being signed to top clubs? Top clubs, you know, you you see, with this generation, we are going there, mm -hmm. we are moving. Now Osime has signed a top club, mm -hmm. you know, he's doing well. Uh, now like uh, Villarreal, they are doing well in uh, uh, Spanish league, and then we have other ones, you know, they are doing well. So, you see, is your players that you have that will improve you know to another this thing it's not like kind of you just go and sign you have to you have to work hard but okay. they are working hard now. on, on the last note is napoli a top club why <laughs> yeah of course you know when you go by napoli history is a top club, when you go by history of uh, football you cannot say napoli is nowhere in football napoli is a club that you know they spend money and then they are doing well even in their league. If you check, maybe. But the only thing is that remember the remember the they the won the last uh, Italian Cup against yes. uh, Juve yeah. last season. Yeah. So, so Napoli now we have the last, in the club. We, are, we 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 have even one in Manchester United. You know, even uh, Igalo is there. Okay. So <laughs> okay. So Mr. Patrick Pascal, yeah. thank you for honoring our invitation. Thank you for coming on our show. And uh, so this is how much we can bring you today. Hope you enjoyed every bit of today's show. And like you always say on this show, take charge of your health. Stop the virus by obeying the guidelines as set up authorities. Keep your hands uh, regularly clean or use an alcohol based sanitizer. And always use your face mask. I remain Olu Shalolo today. Okay, so we'll come away same time, same station next week. Uh, I am Olawale. God bless you. Bye bye for now. Bye. -bye. Chesney claws it away.